Well, something definitely looks different here. What could it be? We got my car. We got the Generation X's car. And we got a Mas car. Those all look the same. But over there, we got that red 78 Ford Fairmont. It's back, but in a good way because uh, we need to get that project started and stuff. I mean, it runs, it drives, but we'll show that off later. But what's behind the Fairmont? Another truck? Ooh! Could this be the one that I kind of made a little sneak peek upon? Let's find out. And it is. It is a slightly better truck. It's a big burly Ford. F-150. Very nice. It's a little banged up. Looks like banged up, scratched up. Bumper's a little mangled. And stuff. And that's slightly mangled, but... By the way... By the way, it looks pretty decent. I may as well explain what the deal was. Apparently I was looking at this Sunday and I pretty much said that I could be getting it this week and I got it on Monday. And, it, and despite the fact that it looks like it is all beat up and shit, it does run, it does drive. Tires, however, tires are balder than bald. So... Balder than bald. The back one looks okay. There's a little rust. And, interesting story, it's still riding the spare. Now when I got it, why it's all beat up like this? Because the previous owner was run off the road, kind of damaged it a little bit, but, uh, and it broke the other rim, so that's why it's still riding on the spare, and all that stuff. So, so if we're ready, let's go inside and take a look. I got the key. See, nothing too fancy, nothing too, nothing too generic, nothing too fancy. It's pretty much decent. And in case if I didn't mention it, this is a 1993 F-150. So, I'll put the key in, so I'll show, start it off in a minute. Come on. Different steering column. Alright. Let's pop the hood and take a look at the engine. Well, guys, check it out. This is the engine of a 1993 F-150. And it, like Retro Chad's 92 F-150, is a six-cylinder. Ah, uh, yeah. So in a way, this actually kind of meets my three requirements when it came to buying a full-size truck. It had to be domestic, it has to be an automatic, although I can drive a stick, but I'd rather not because I end up burning out clutches, and fuel efficient. This meets all three requirements. So, so if we're ready to see how it runs, let's start up. And for the first time since the uh, 1980 Dodge Aspen, crank windows, yeah. And uh, that handle is broken. I knew that when I bought it, so I have to run to the junkyard to get a new handle. And uh, so. Let's, well, let's start it up. With it being fuel injected, no pumping required, so... Yeah, it's 222,494.3 miles on the clock. A little bit high, but... Yeah. And it's got the idiot gauge. 
I haven't ran it yet, so it's kind of hard to tell how the how high it's going to get. How high it's going to get, excuse me. Although when I did drive it home, it was near the R and normal. So, and when I did drive it home, it actually drove pretty nice. But with the alignment, with the front end needing realigned, I don't want to drive it too far. And the fact I need to get it registered. Charging system's okay. Gas is like at a quarter of a tank. And if you notice, it has a switch for dual tanks. However, only the rear tank works. The front one, the fuel pump burned out, so I'm gonna have to work on that. But right now, it's all right as it is. Wipers work. It's got the uh, knobs and stuff. And an aftermarket CD player, which I'll show off in a minute. Wolf thing. So, let's take a look at the engine. Yes, it is making a tapping noise. However, it's been like this for a while and uh, I'm pretty sure that I've seen other videos on YouTube that had the same 4.9 liter six cylinder engine that has that made that noise. Everyone says it's really not much to worry about. And also the previous donor has had this for a few years and has been doing it like this. So Whoa, no. Okay, that was stupid. Need to replace that battery. This looks like it's going to be a strong engine once I get that tapping noise done, but it does run and it does drive pretty well. Shut that. And yes, one of the things I got to do, I got to realign that hood because it was a little hard to close a minute ago. As well as rummage through the junkyard to get another bezel because this one, it's damaged a little bit, but like I said, it doesn't, it just, it's pure cosmetic. I like to get things running first before doing the cosmetic side of things. So, let's go back inside and check things out. As you can see, no tilt wheel, but... Oof. No tilt wheel. Like I said, I don't know how accurate that gauge is. I mean, Retro Chat said that uh, that could be an idiot gauge, but I'll well, just check the oil every couple of days anyway because I'm paranoid like that. So, anyway, let's check out the C player. And uh, I'm not planning on keeping the Wolf Dreamcatcher on this thing. Not because, I mean, I'm planning on keeping it, but I would like to raise it up a bit because the feathers kind of get in the way of the radio and I don't want to put it on a CD because, well, <laughs> the feathers could get eaten. So. So. Ah, come on. Well. Hold that stop. There we go. We got the feathers out of the way. I mean, I'm keeping, I think I'm going to keep this anyway. So, let's turn on the CD player. Welcome. With chicken, vegetables, and garlic alfredo sauce. Or provolone stuffed meatballs on a bed of fettuccine. One appetizer, two entrees, 20 bucks. Always a fan thing. Two for 20. Got this set for WEGI FM, 94.3 The Eagle. This one's WCJK, 96.3 Jack FM. WZZP uh, FMZ975 WBZ1029 The Buzz Those are the only four stations I usually listen to anyway So Put it back on that Put a CD in This is one of my mixed discs that I tried for my project Let it finish loading. I only have 
two tracks on this disc because, like I said, this is a project disc that I wanted to work on. For the record, I own nothing. Okay. We'll just eject that. Fest, three dollars Sam Adams Oktoberfest pints all night long, and the mega dance party with DJ Felix Saturday. Anyway, like I said, this came with the truck, so I might keep it. I might not. I don't know. All right, temperature is pretty much uh, okie dokie. Like I said, the uh, oil still an idiot gauge, charging's okay, gas still needs gas. That uh, fasten seat belt light doesn't go off. I gotta figure out why. I also got a couple of lights on the dashboard that also don't work. But either way, I mean it's pretty decent. I mean it's a basic get her done work truck. And that's what I need in life, is a basic, get her done work truck. And unlike my last truck, I got a blower motor, yay! heat, sort of. Let's just check something else. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, I got ice cold AC in this son of a bitch! Yeah! Woo! I got ice cold AC! Which means nothing since it's October and things are getting a little cooler, but. But, either way. We'll shut this off. And that's pretty much how things are. With this being my new truck, the 1993 Ford F-150. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for sitting through this mess. And uh, just to let you know, my 100th video is coming up, so it may be something epic, or something, of a, or something of an epic fail. I haven't decided yet. Until then...